<clears throat> so let's try this one. It says um, a 5.00 gram quantity of a diprotic acid was dissolved in water and made up to exactly 500 milliliters. Calculate the molar mass of the acid if 25 milliliters of this solution required 11.1 mils of 1.00 molar potassium hydroxide for neutralization. Assume that both protons of the acid were titrated. Okay, so I've already taken the liberty of writing down all the information the problem gives us and what it's asking for, the molar mass of that diprotic acid. So we know that it's a diprotic acid. We know that we're reacting it with potassium hydroxide, and we know that it says that assume both of the protons were titrated. Okay, so from that we should be able to write out a reaction equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that first. So the reaction equation, and this is just a general diprotic acid. We don't know what the, the acid is, so I'm just going to put H2, so those are the two protons that are going to be removed and just A for a general acid. Aqueous, we're going to react that with potassium hydroxide aqueous. Okay? So that's a strong base, so it's going to fully react, right? But it's got to react twice. It's only got one hydroxide group on it, one hydroxide um, polyatomic anion, so we've got to put a two there so it can react with both of the protons. So when we do that, we can now balance our um, equation. So it's going to be K2A aqueous plus 2H2O. Okay. So that's the reaction that's going on in this solution. So the next thing I would do is figure out, well, how much, how many moles did it take to fully titrate that 25 mil aliquot or portion of the solution that we removed, the portion of that 250 mils. So how do we do that? Well, so we're going to figure out the number of moles of potassium hydroxide. So we've got here the molarity, so 1.00 moles per one liter. Um, and we've got the volume, so we're going to convert this to Okay, but um, 
we're going to eventually need to figure out what the concentration of the actual solution is, okay? Why? Because five grams was put into 250 milliliters, not into 25 milliliters. So we don't know how many grams we put into the 25 milliliters, okay? So what we can do here is say, okay, divide this by 25.0 mills, like that, and multiply that by 1,000 milliliters, or one liter. So cancel. Cancel. And that's going to give us, here we'll say, the molarity, or since we have it in brackets, we'll do it this way. H2A in that, por in that um, uh, portion that was removed or that valid one. So that's going to be divided by 20. So 0.222 molar H2A. Okay, so, but that's the concentration that we found in the 25 mils, okay? But we want to know, well, what's the concentration in 250 mils, okay? So, this would be in one liter, right? So, say moles in one liter, okay? So, let's multiply that by... 0 0.25, well, just 0 0.25 liters, 250, because it's only the two sig figs there. Do it on the test? Yeah. Okay, good. Definitely. Good. 